Hello everyone. It's another beautiful blessed day today to always be in the presence of the Lord. And I don't know about you, I stay happy and excited each and every day to always seek my God, to praise Him, to glorify Him, and to pour all my faith and my trust in His hand each and every day. No matter what it looked like, no matter what it's, look, what it's doing right now, I'm always excited to praise Him and to glorify Him and to shout out His holy name each and every day. But most of all, to always put my faith and trust in Jesus. Even though it seems like nothing is happening right now. Even though it seems like our situation and our circumstances is still the same. Continue to praise him. Continue to put him in first place. And to always continue to trust him at all given times. No matter what it looks like right now. Continue to trust Jesus. He knows exactly what he's doing. I know it get difficult, my brothers and sisters, trust me. But we always have to put on and trust him. No matter what it look like, always trust Jesus. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. That's glory to God. And I hope you're all excited for today's message today. Because today's message is meant for somebody today. And I know somebody's going to say, you know what? I know this word is meant for me today. And I believe it is today, my brothers and my sisters. Amen? Amen. And today's text is coming from Luke chapter 1. And we're going to be reading verse 79. That's Luke chapter 1. And we will be reading verse 79. And today's lesson is Jesus is pushing you out of your situation today. He is pushing you out of your situation today. Some of y'all been in the dark place way too long. You've been in that dark place too long. You've been at that job. You know you don't like that job. You've been in that relationship. You've been in that valley. You've been whatever it is that you've been a dark place and you're trying to need some help. But the thing about Jesus, he knows some of us too stubborn to move. He knows we ain't going to do it on our own. So right now he's got to push you out of that situation. It might not feel as easy, but you got to trust Jesus. He's doing it for a reason because he knows that you're unhappy. He knows that you hurt He's going to push you today. Amen. Amen. And before we get started, I always like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, this can't thank you enough for an awesome and beautiful, blessed day today. I can't thank you enough for our health today. I can't thank you enough for our strength today. I can't thank you enough that you bless me with another day for me to seek you today, to praise you today, and to glorify and shout out your holy name today, oh God. I just can't thank you enough today, oh God, because you are pushing us out of our situation today. You know we've been in that dark place way too long. You know we've been hurting today. You know we've been drowning our sorrow today. But today, God, you promising us today that you are pushing us out of our situation today. And I just can't thank you enough for that. I just can't thank you enough for your grace and your mercy today, oh God. I just can't thank you enough for everything that you do and everything that you're doing in our life. I just can't thank you enough, God. I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough for the air that we breathe. For the food that you put on our table. The clothes and shoes that you put on our back. I just can't thank you enough. For our strength and our health. I just can't thank you enough. That I'm always able to seek you. To praise you and glorify and shout out your holy name. I just can't thank you enough. Because I serve an awesome and amazing. And a faithful God. I just can't thank you enough Jesus. I said I just can't thank you enough. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to get into this word. I would love for y'all to turn your Bibles to Luke 1, and we're going to read verse 79. That's Luke 1, verse 79. And if you have your Bibles open and ready to receive it, shout out amen. Amen. Let's begin. To shine on those living in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the path of peace. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. He's going to shine light on those who live in darkness. See, right now, Jesus is plotting. He's plotting on us right now. And the reason why he's plotting on us, because he wants to push us out of that darkness. He wants to push us out of that situation that we've been in way too long. But see, you got to think about it, my brothers, my sisters. Some of us, we don't get too comfortable in our situation. Knowing that we are hurting Knowing that we are drowning, knowing that we are unhappy. So we deal with it on a daily basis. You know who I'm talking to. 
You already know this message meant for you already. At this present time, Jesus knows that. That's why he's stepping in right now. We might feel like that Jesus is betraying us right now at this present moment. He is not betraying us. He is not letting us down. He just want to do his, he just want to do his part. He just want to shine that light on us so we can get at that dark place that we've been in. And some of us have been in that dark place way too long. You already know what kind of dog place you've been in. Some of y'all been drowning way too long. Some of y'all been crying way too long. Some of y'all been hurting way too long. Some of y'all been unhappy way too long. And the only thing Jesus want to do is shine the light on us. My brothers, my sisters, don't be surprised if you lose your job. Don't be surprised if your family members or friends turn their back on you. Don't be surprised. If you lose your relationship with your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your husband, or your wife, he knows that you've been hurting. He knows that you've been drowning. He knows that you've been unhappy for a long time. But the midst we know that we, we're unhappy, the midst of all that he know that we're drowning and we're crying, we sit still. We allow that situation to, to cover us, to hinder us each and every day. And what we do, we always say we're going to do something. We always say we're going we're gonna to do this or we're going to get out of it. But we don't. We sit still and we allow that pain. We allow that hurting. We allow that dark place every time. And see, but one thing about Jesus, he knows everything. He sees everything and he hears everything. And at this present moment right now, the reason why Jesus is plotting, he want to get you out of it. He tired of you crying. He tired of you being unhappy. He tired of you hurting. You know who I'm talking to right now. I know I'm talking to one of my brothers right now. And I know I'm talking to one of my sisters right now. But look how Jesus is plotting on you right now. He said to shine the, to shine on those living in darkness. That's how Jesus is plotting on you right now. He want to shine on you. Because he know that you've been living in darkness. He want to shine on you. Because he know that you've been unhappy. He want to shine on you. Because he know you've been crying. He want to shine on you to get you out of that dark place. You know exactly what you've been going through. Some of y'all been, been unhappy at that job for way too long. Some of y'all been in that, dark, that dark, dark relationship way too long. Some of y'all been unhappy in y'all circumstances and your finances or that, on that valley or, or hanging around the wrong friends or family members. You've been unhappy. And every time you're going to say, I'm going to do something about it, I'm going to leave them alone. And you don't. So now Jesus is plotting on you right now. He's going to shine the light on you. He's going to shine the light on you. But then if you go down to the next verse, you see how Jesus, you see how Jesus introducing himself to you right now. He's guiding your feet into the path of peace right now. He is guiding your feet into the path of peace right now. The reason why he's going to guide your feet right now because he knows that you can't do it by yourself. So you need his help. And right now, Jesus is helping you. He's guiding you right now to that right job. Right now, Jesus is guiding you to that right relationship right now. Some of y'all been crying for a new husband or a wife. So right now, Jesus is guiding you right there to him right now. So you can be in that, that perfect peace right now. Come on, now who I'm talking to right now. I'm talking to somebody right now. By the end of all this, it all connects back to Jesus. What Jesus want to do for me and what Jesus really want to do for you. He want to shine the light on you. He don't want you to be unhappy no more. He don't want you to be drowning no more. He don't want you to be crying no more. He wants you to be happy. He wants you to be blessed. That's why he guided his, that's why he guided your feet right now in that right path. Some of you have been lost for way too long in that dog place. So he's removing you from that dog situation. Now he's guiding you through the right path. Some of y'all been in a bad relationship and you want to leave your, that man or that woman or your husband. Or your wife, or whatever the situation might look like. So right now, but you don't know how to do it. So now Jesus is guiding your feet to the right man, the right woman that he already had for you. Hmm. Some of y'all been unhappy for way too long. Some of y'all, when you wake up, first thing you say, oh man, now you gotta go to the job. And you know you don't like the job. But every time you see a job ad that's hiring right now, you look at it, you say, oh, I'm gonna apply for that job, but you don't. And you look at it, and you look at it, and you look at it, and you still don't apply for it. So now Jesus got to remove you from that job. 
He got to push you out of that job, even if it means you're getting fired. And then when you do get fired, you get mad. Don't get mad. Jesus already saw that you was hurting. He already knew you was in a dark place. He already knew that you was unhappy. He already knew that you was crying. He already knew that you was drowning. So that's why he pushing you. We need that push. Some of us are not going to do that push on our own. So that's when Jesus liked to plot. When he plot, he said, you know, look at my son right there. He's been in a dark place way too long. He said, look at my daughter right there. She's been in that dark place too long. So right now, Jesus is plotting. He's plotting on us because why he loves us more than anything. He don't want to see us drowning no more. He don't want to see you crying no more. He don't want to see you unhappy no more. So that's why Jesus is plotting on you. Now, I love how he introduced himself. I had gotten our feet into the path of peace. So I'll let you know we can't do it by ourselves, but everything still connect back to who? Jesus. That's why it's always necessary to praise him and glorify him no matter what. So right now, I don't know who I'm talking to today, but this message today is clearly for someone today. Jesus is pushing you out of your situation today. And you know your situation is, but the main thing, Jesus already know your situation. He know that you've been in that dark place. You can you can lie to me. You can fake with anybody else. But you can't lie or fake it to Jesus. Because he know that you've been crying. And he know that you've been drowning. And he know that you've been unhappy. So that's why he's plotting on you today. He's going to shine the light on those who've been living in darkness. You know how, you know how long you've been living in darkness? I admit it every day. I say, Jesus, you know no matter what job I go to, I'm still not going to be happy unless I'm working for you full time. No matter what, yes, I'm unhappy at my job. And you know that. So each and every day, Jesus is plotting on me each and every day how he's going to guide my feet to where exactly he's going to lead me. Admit it. You got to be you got to be up front with Jesus and admit to him and let him know. Jesus, I've been unhappy in the relationship. Jesus, I've been unhappy at this job. Jesus, I've been unhappy with my friends and my family. I've been unhappy. I've been drowning and living in this valley. Whatever the situation is, you're going to have to let Jesus know you've been drowning, that you've been crying, that you're unhappy. You just got to be bold with and let him know because he already know because he's plotting on you. He's plotting on you. He's been plotting on you. And the only thing that Jesus want to do for me and the only thing he want to do for you, my brother, my sister, he want to shine the light on you because he know that you've been living in darkness. He want to shine the light on you because he know that you've been unhappy. He want to shine the light on you because he know that you've been drowning. He want to shine the light on you so you can't be happy. That's why he's pushing you out of your situation. Amen? Amen. And I don't know who I'm talking to today, but I know this message is clear for somebody today. And if it's for you today, my brothers, my sisters, give him thanks and give him praise and give him glory. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus. Do you receive it today? And if you receive it, shout out amen. He get the thanks, praise, and glory. And I hope this message was helpful for somebody today. My brothers, my sisters, Jesus is pushing you out of your situation for a reason. He knows that you've been living in darkness. And today, I believe and I declare right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, that he shined the light on every last one of us today. He has shined the light on us to get us out of that dark place, out of that drowning place, out of that crying place, out of that unhappy place. He is shining the light on us today. And I believe and I declare right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, that he's already got our feet to that perfect path where he want to lead us to. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's already done. I believe it in Jesus' name. Amen. And before I close, I would like to end with a prayer. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into my life, to take over, to guide me, direct me, use me, so I can build a relationship with you. And I believe right now in the mighty name of Jesus, by y'all praying that simple little prayer, that God is already working everything God in your life right now. And if you ever want to get in contact with me or leave me a comment, my YouTube channel is withers.lt. I love y'all and y'all stay blessed. In Jesus' name, amen.